Hey, what's going on, DDO players? Axel here. Today I'm going over Warlock, which is the new class coming to DDO in the very near future. This past Friday, the developers released a ton of information on the class, and before that, really no information on the class was released to the general public. We knew it was coming, we knew what it was, we, we kind of knew some of the general basics, uh, the general uh, descriptions, we had some a vague idea of what the class was going to be like we knew it was going to resemble what it was in pen and paper but we didn't we didn't know the specifics and the specifics are what was released on Friday and if you want to read it yourself I'll put a link to the thread discussing this in the description below but I'm going to go through some of the developer posts and give my impressions and thoughts on the new class so First of all, the first post by Vargoyle started off by giving some uh, just generalities on the class. Um, he says, these Eldritch casters will form packs with powerful beings seeking out rare and often forbidden knowledge. They deal large amounts of damage with, with their Eldritch Blast and back that damage up with a variety of buff, control, and utility abilities. An Eldritch Blast is the key defining feature of the class. A warlock is going to be in DDO a, a kind of like a hybrid between a archer and a sorcerer. And the Eldritch Blast is their main feature. And that is essentially a ranged attack that is sort of like a spell, sort of like an SLA, but not really. It's going to work like in a regular attack. You can fire your blast whenever you want. It doesn't cost SP. Um, it doesn't cost uh, ammo. It doesn't cost materials. It doesn't cost spell components. I don't believe it costs spell components unless uh, I'm missing something. So it's going to function sort of like a ranged attack, except it's a spell. And you, what what your Eldritch Blast does, and the kind of damage it does, depends on which enhancement line you take. And there are three. But let's go over some basics. Some class features, uh, Warlocks can cast in light armor without arcane spell failure, sort of like a bard. They have strong will saves, weak fortitude saves, and also weak reflex saves. They can be any alignment, and their general structure of spells is similar to bards and sorcerers in that they get um, very limited spell slots. However, the spells are learned, so you don't have to uh, get get them through scrolls like a wizard does. Uh, their spell list right now is primarily drawn from existing DDO spells, but the developers want to add some more if they can. Some more information on Eldritch Blast: it's a toggle feat, so you can either you can put it in your hotbar, you can toggle it on or off. And when it's toggled on, your basic attack, which is your your left mouse click, becomes your Eldritch Blast. The default Eldritch Blast shoots in a straight line. It doesn't home in, and enemies that move may avoid it. Now the description does say the default Eldritch Blast, so I'm assuming from that word default that there will be ways to modify it. There's, I believe there's a cone shape. There's um, a point blank AOE, which is like a kind of like a Radiant Servant burst that will damage enemies around you. There's different uh, different shapes you can uh, use for your Eldritch Blast. There's also a, uh, one other feature of the, war, of the Warlock is packs. They get to choose a pack at Warlock level 1, and the three types are Fiend, Fey, or Great Old One, and they all have their own little niche, and we'll get to that in a minute when we get to the enhancement trees. But Fey, your Fey gives you sonic damage, um, which will focus, I'm assuming, will focus your Eldritch Blast into a sonic attack. Uh, the Fiend will uh, turn it into a fire attack, and the Great Old One will turn it into an acid attack. Now, I'm not, sh I'm not, I don't think it will be all acid, but it will add extra fire or acid damage, whichever type um, you choose. So you can kind of diversify. You can kind of specialize in an element to an extent, but it won't be like a sorcerer where uh, you. If you're a fire savant or something, you're just completely screwed when it comes to like fire enemies. It sounds like the base 
for your Warlock, Eldritch Blast, a Sonic, and your packs just add damage of a certain type. And we, we still don't have a full enhancement tree out, so we really can't... Uh, we really don't know much yet about that. Okay, let's go to the enhancement trees. There are three enhancement trees, uh, Soul Eater, Tainted Scholar, and Enlightened Spirit. The first one, here's the lore description. Your pack makes you an extension of your patron's hunger. Your body and mind become more inhuman, and your ability to consume the souls and life force of your enemies also feeds your patron. Your attacks erode the life essence of your targets. Notable enhancements. Uh, this enhancement tree will have... Uh, Chain Lightning as a Eldritch Blast shape. That's a little interesting. There will be damage over time effects, debuffs, and death effects. So this looks kind of like your DC Warlock, I'm guessing. We don't have the full enhancement trees out, so I can't. we don't know that for sure. But this sounds to me like a DC type Warlock. Um, the next Tainted Scholar... No secret is barred from your tainted scholar's grasp, and if such forbidden knowledge comes at the cost of his soul, he's willing to pay that price. Notable enhancements. Eldritch Blast Shape is a, a cone for this um, this enhancement line. There are something called Eldritch Essences that alter how Eldritch Blasts work. There is direct damage boosting of Eldritch Blast, um, and also you can have crowd control, and new, including a new confusion abilities that causes enemies to... Attack player and monster characters indiscriminately. I'm a little confused on this one. It might be a kind of a nuking warlock. It does say in the notable enhancements that there is direct damage boosting of Eldritch Blast. So we'll have to see. Enlightened Spirit. The lore description is, although the fiendish origins of some warlock powers can't be denied, not all warlocks embrace the darkness. Some tur turn towards the light. Such rare in individuals are called enlightened spirits. This sounds like a support geared warlock. And let's see, notable enhancements. The Eldritch Blast shape is area of effect. When toggled on, this deals damage around you, scaling with your Eldritch Blast damage. This particular shape allows you to attack with melee or ranged weapons while damaging enemies around you. There is an aura that primarily buffs allies around you. Um, they, this enhancement tree also has mitigation and support for pets. And the developers also noted that they expect this tree to be popular with uh, melee. So this sounds like... Um, if definitely like a melee build. I mean, especially since the Eldritch Blast shape is area of effect, you're, you're definitely going to want to be a melee if you're in this enhancement line. So this is kind of cool. It looks like this might play a little bit like a Battle Cleric, actually. And the developers went on. I won't get into all the, the math, the kind of numbers which they detailed in a few other posts. Um, they also went over skills. Warlocks receive skill points as follows. Skill points at first level 2 plus int modifier times 4. And skill points at each additional level is 2 plus int modifier. Also, the Warlock, I don't think I mentioned this, they are Cha based. So they probably have some good synergy with Paladin. I can see a lot of Paladin splashing, or a lot of Warlocks splashing 3 Paladin for Divine Grace which is going to be a, it's going to be a great synergy with Warlock because their Warlocks are Chaw based. So they're going to get tons of benefit just huge saves out of Divine Grace. And I think a lot of people these days especially uh, melee want to splash either 3 fighter or 3 paladin for uh, their um, defender stance for the plus 20% hit points. I can see a lot of Warlocks doing that. It also said that Warlocks will have primal epic destinies. I don't see anything that says Warlocks will get their own epic destiny right now. I would, I don't think that would be ready for the next update. And I don't even know if the developers are planning that. Okay, the next post by Vargoyle goes into spellcasting.
We are planning for warlocks to have spell points and cast spells from a spell book similar to bards. Warlocks have very few spell slots and won't have a full suite of damage spells. Instead, we plan for their spell book to lack damage spells entirely, with the possible exceptions of um, a few negative ability levels or ability score damage. Um, I won't read all this, but the bottom line is warlocks um, aren't going to have a lot of damage spells or a lot of spell points. They do have a few good killing spells, though. Um, let's go down the list. The developers also listed here in a post every single spell they're going to get. There are some nice ones. They get they get Will the Banshee. They get Power Word, Kill. Um, what else? They do get a lot of CC stuff, like Hold Monster Mass. They get Mass Charm Monster. And they get a lot of support, like they get um, stuff like Protection from Elements Mass, um, they get Greater Teleport, oh they get they do get Finger of Death, so if you want to play a insta-kill Warlock, a DC based Warlock, that will be an option, because they do get Whale and Finger of Death. And also, power. I actually don't see Power Word Kill listed in the spell list, but I know I saw it above, it looks like it might be it might be something you can only get from a pack S looks like it might be great old one specific which was one of the one of the packs I mentioned before so that's about it guys uh, warlocks are gonna be a little different from any class we played before I think the most similar class we have right now to warlocks would probably be something like a um, bar a archer archer bard like a barcher it's going to play very similar to that. Not really a lot of uh, offensive damaging spells, although it will be possible to build a insta-kill warlock, but they, they don't look like they're going to be great nukers. It looks like they're going to be really good at single target DPS because of the, um, the default shape of the um, Eldritch Blast is single target, but we'll see because there is some... Um, like I said, uh, the, the um, Enlightened Spirit line looks like we can have an AoE effect on our Eldritch Blast and there was a cone shaped version as well but it looks like to me it's going to be kind of a single target DPS uh, type class I could be wrong on that um, doesn't look like it's going to be a nuker but they will have DC possibilities and they will have support possibilities as well so it'll be interesting I, uh, it'll be uh, really cool to see some more info and I'm sure they'll give us some more info as we go along get a little closer to the release date so guys, why don't you comment below and let me know if you are looking forward to playing this class or not so much. Uh, I know me personally, I probably will check them out, but I don't have any direct plans to roll up a Warlock right now. But if they turn out to be a lot of fun, you know, who knows, maybe. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe and tell your DDO friends and guildies about my channel. Thanks for watching.